guys, how are you doing? I hope that I find you all very well indeed and you're having a great day so far and a warm welcome back to What's For Tea or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. Quite a lot of you have asked for, you know, what do you get at the supermarket and what do you buy and all that kind of thing and I've never actually done, you know, a sort of supermarket haul. So I was out today and I thought, I think I'm going to film this when I get back just to let folks see, you know, what I buy and all that kind of thing so hopefully you're going, to, you're going to be interested so we normally go to Aldi but for the last couple of weeks we're going to a little because we found the freshness of the bread and the fruit and veg and things far superior so that's where we've been going for the last couple of weeks in addition to that we normally go to Asda or Tesco you know sort of local convenience shops just to get things that you might have missed so this is just the bulk of our shops, but we do do top-up shops during the week as well. So yeah, so let's go and see what we picked up. So the first place we went was the local Lidl. Like I said, we used to go to Aldi. You know, we've been going to Aldi for years. But, you know, my partner who works in Glasgow often picks up things from Lidl in Glasgow. And he, you know, he's often raved about the quality of the, the bread and the fruit and veg and things. And... I've kind of went off, you know, I was quite happy with Aldi, but since I've been going into Lidl, I've thought, oh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, you know, the quality is far superior. So for the last couple of weeks, we've been going to Lidl. So this is what we picked up in Lidl. So I've got some yogurts there at the back, and we've got some milk, and some cheese. I picked up some grated cheese, because this is really good for sauces and things, and also a block of cheese which is good for toasties and sandwiches and that kind of thing. Some sweet peppers, some baby tomatoes, some vine tomatoes. We love tomatoes. <laughs> uh, some linguine, some baked beans, some aloe vera juice, and uh, yeah, some orange juice. Somebody's already been into that, so. <laughs> and some lemon and lime water. And yeah, this aloe vera juice, I love. I've got some peaches and I've picked up some broccoli and cauliflower florets. That's lovely with a cheese sauce over the top. We've got some peaches, some apples, a couple of uh, cartons of tomato juice, which I love. Some parsley, which goes with so many things. Some cucumber. Some strawberries, because we're thinking about having some strawberries and cream. Got some bananas. I hate bananas. <laughs> some hand wash. This is one of the funky unicorn ones. It smells lovely. A cabbage. Some sautéed potatoes, which I thought looked fab. And also a potato roasty thing, which I think looks quite similar to a bubble and squeak. So I'll be, I'm dying to try that, see what it's like. And I picked up some pasta with ham and cheese, it's a tortellini and I think that'll just be fab with any sauce and their fish looks amazing this looks lovely and fresh so that's just some flaky haddock fillets so I picked up two of them we love white fish it's lovely in a soup or you know breaded or battered or whatever and we also picked up some bagels and some coffee. I love strong coffee, so this will be mine. And some garlic bread, which goes with anything, as you know. And some white bread, but we've, we've got a freezer full of bread, so we just pick this up. And some crumpets. I love crumpets with some butter. If you toast these and pop some butter on top, they're amazing. And then some coleslaw, because we're thinking about having a salad during the week and some butter can't go wrong with butter and the usual cleaning products so I got some flash and I got some cooking oil and some cleaning cloths as well so I think that's all we got from Lidl yeah it was so my next stop was the butcher now we've been going to this butcher for years and years and years we're actually quite friendly with the folk that own this butcher it's amazing it's got everything i mean it even sells you know fresh veggies and 
you know, all sorts of things. And they have a wee takeaway as well where they do rolls and takeaway pastries and things. I didn't pick up too much today. We didn't need that much. But we did got a few bits and bobs. So this is just a sort of traditional Scottish butcher. So I picked up some chops, some frying steak and some bacon. That's all I needed. And again, sorry about my voice, guys. <laughs> I'm absolutely choked with the cold. So I'm just going to pop these open just to let you see. So these are the pork loin chops. They're absolutely amazing, so they are. And we got some steak. And it's only me and the other half that actually, you know, likes the steak. So I only got two bits of steak. And then some bacon, which everybody loves. And this is actually cut to order. And it's beautiful. So that was all we got from the butcher this week. No mince, no stew, nothing else. And then the last stop was Tesco for everything that I couldn't get anywhere else. So this is quite a big store. This is open 24 hours and it sells absolutely everything. I think this would be the sort of American equivalent to Walmart. It's huge. And I had to take you over to the donuts. <laughs> I love Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> I didn't get any today, but I do enjoy them. So this is what I got from Tesco. I didn't need very much from Tesco, as you can see. Just the things that I can't get from anywhere else. So I picked up some tuna. We have tuna and baked potatoes, sandwiches, toasties, all sorts of things. And some frozen chips which we have quite a lot, and obviously the, the peas, which you'll see a lot. And the, these are the baked potatoes that I use, and they're fab. And these are just some tortilla wraps. I mean, these are very versatile as well. And the wee part-baked rolls that we use quite a lot also. I haven't had these for a couple of weeks, so I picked them up. And some sausages, because they didn't actually have them in the butcher, so I picked these up in the supermarket. And some wee poppadoms because I'm thinking about making a curry. So these are my nice wee side. And some Jersey Royal potatoes because these were actually half price. I didn't need them, but I picked them up just because. And then some wee crunchy topping for some ice cream cones that I'm going to be making as well. And some extra butter because we like the bloat butter as well. And not forgetting about the cat, I nearly forgot. So this is the cat shopping, so this is his food and his wee snacks that he enjoys. We try to get him the dental bites because it's good for his teeth and gums. And there he is there. Oh, he's a wee spoiled guy, he really is. So thank you again for popping over and seeing what's going on. And if you like these kind of videos, mind to thumbs the video up and uh, just so I know that you like it. And I'll do these kind of videos again in the future. So until I see you next guys, take care of yourself and bye for now. Bye now.